Oh, this is a very unique event. I, I, we've been, I've been enjoying a lot. You know, these people who are invited, or all my friends, by the way, they are extremely good scientists, all of them, okay? So, if you are with uh, these people, we've been spending for almost a week together now, so that's a rare opportunity for me. And other, you know, besides this meeting itself today, we've been traveling together for six days or so. So I've been enjoying very much. Oh, that would be wonderful if, uh, if something can be arranged. I mean, it's so physically so far away, so it's not easy, but uh, that would be nice uh, we can do more, yeah. But I hear, as I said, and, uh, I hear that uh, Chile is, uh, has a lot of resources now. I mean, uh, you know, copper export and so on. If the government has the money, I think they should open up and more in science. You know, science is a, there is a, something called the basic science and the one applied science. You know, when a country is not affluent, doesn't have very much resources, money, it's a bit difficult to support basic research. Basic research is the, the, you know, the turnaround of basic research to the human society takes a long time, okay? Nevertheless, um, so only the uh, industrialized nation who had a certain uh, state, good state of economy, can support the basic science. But it looks like Chile is now uh, at, 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 at that stage that they can, they can do that. So I think uh, it would be nice, it would be good if uh, their government uh, leaders were uh, uh, recognize that uh, supporting science and, as I said, education, higher education, graduate school, for instance, supporting them. You know, there are a lot of, a lot of very talented, enthusiastic students. So, unless you support them, it's a waste for the nation. I don't know. I don't know how it is like in Chile, so it's difficult to say. But uh, one thing uh, very clear in Japan is the traditional. See, Japan has no, basically has no natural resources, no copper, no oil, nothing. Only resource is human beings, okay? Many years, even now, okay? So, traditionally, uh, Japan put a lot of effort in um, education to uh, uh, give uh, skills, uh, develop uh, skills of uh, people. Okay. So that's what they've been doing. So, so even the medieval time, there were schools, you know, everybody, even the ordinary people on the street, they go to school, okay, because that was a policy. And uh, I think education is very important. And now, uh, if, and then after the war, uh, you know, even before the war, I mean, uh, Japan um, tried to catch up with the Western world by, uh, in, in science and the technology. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not saying that Ch Chilean is not uh, diligent, but uh, Japanese uh, sort of a national feature is uh, people are quite uh, diligent. You understand that? They actually work too, too long, too many hours. They don't take vacations. Okay? And I, think it, I don't think it's good, actually. I think it's going too, too extreme. Okay? And, uh, but, uh, but on the other hand, there is also the merit of being uh, each person, each person being so uh, diligent and serious in, 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 in what they do. Well, they should, uh, leaders should think carefully about uh, how to increase, how to support basic science, okay? That include the, for instance, university system, where the, 
you know, research uh, graduate school is a very important. You know, undergrad, undergrad, you don't have very much time, many years, years to uh, really train, train young people. You have to go to graduate school. Okay? So at the age of 20, over 22, 20, the 20s, you know, 20 until about late, late 20s, mm -hmm. that period is very important. Okay? So uh, if you want to raise uh, the standard of science, you have to have a system where the government give fellowship. And it's not just a, uh, the amount of money should be sufficient. It doesn't have to be a large amount, but sufficient to, uh, so that they don't have to do another, another job. They don't have to have another job. They bought the entire time to learn, to train themselves. Okay? So that's the way it is in a good university in Japan. I mean, not in, in America. In America. Japan is not enough, actually. Even today, even top universities, uh, they are many students uh, supported by parents. So only rich, they, that make rich, the children of richer parents tend to go to top universities because they need money to support. Uh, in America, it, uh, it much, much more even. Okay, it doesn't matter whether parents are rich or not. Uh, I don't know how Chile is, but the, in the Chile, my understanding is, you know, the leaders of a government, I mean, this senator to, who talked this morning, he, he said all right, right things, okay? I hope he, he practiced what he says. I don't know. But the leader should recognize that uh, in the long run, science and the science-based technology is the real power of the nation. So you have to have a long-term plan to uh, in, uh, incept uh, the system, uh, college system, university system, university system, and the research funding system in such a way that uh, um, the good, good science, uh, that enough people are there and enough money is there. Yeah. And also, also you have to open up country. You should accept the people from abroad. Uh, as a student. But I guess start with uh, South America, I mean, from different parts. Mm -hmm. If you have a very good uh, funding system for graduate students, they will come. I mean, it, it increase the probability. In America, a great thing in America is when we hire graduate students, we look at the whole world, mm -hmm. not just the so-called American.